welcome to another episode of I Demand a Homestead. My name is Amanda and today what we're going to talk about is um, I did one video already on how to spin wool um, and we made a single which is a piece of yarn that has only got kind of one ply, right? One piece. So most of the time happens is, is we're going to twist two of these singles together and make a two ply or a three ply yarn. We're going to use a couple of things that have got super fun names. Um, this is called a lazy Kate. Um, and what it is, is it's just basically a little rack for your bobbins that allows them to kind of spin. And the other cool thing we're going to use with a fun name is this, which is called a nitty naughty for turning your, um, plied yarn on your bobbin and putting it on here and making a skein, which is kind of what you can see in the picture, um, which is then kind of a lot of times how um, artisanal yarns or homemade yarns are sold. All right, so I've got a full bobbin of yarn here, a single, all right? And then I've got this other full bobbin so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them onto my Lazy Kate. Okay, so here are our two um, bobbins on the Lazy Kate. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw off pieces of yarn. Normally I'd have this sitting on the floor, but this is just easier. And I've got two pieces of yarn that I'm drawing off, and I'm going to kind of tie them together. Now I'm going to take an empty bobbin and put that on my spinning wheel. All right, so every kind of bobbin will have a little bit of kind of uh, string tied to it so that that way you've got something that's already firmly attached and then you just kind of draw it through this hole here. Um, if you have a spinning wheel, you kind of know what this is about. So I've got my little piece of string and then what I'm gonna do is, so I have my do 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 Lazy Kate is on the ground there beside my spinning wheel. And then I'm just gonna tie a little a little knot in here to attach one to the other. Okay, so this is kind of how we've got it set up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start spinning. So normally you kind of spin clockwise when you are spinning your singles, but to ply the yarn, we're going to spin the other direction. All right, because that actually helps take off some of that twist. And then it's, it's going to make what we call a balanced yarn. All right, something that's not going to twist up on itself. I'm gonna reduce the tension a little bit here. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna start twisting it the other way. Okay, so you can see the twist coming on into here and they're kind of coming together. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to increase the tension on my um, bobbin to allow the yarn to draw on a little faster because you don't wanna over twist it, all right? So this is actually pretty good. You can kind of check it by taking the tension off. And if it twists up again, then you know you've kind of overdone it in the opposite direction. You've kind of let it twist too much. All right. So this one, you can see it kind of, it will, it kind of comes into a little bit of a curve, but it doesn't fully twist up together. So if I let it twist more without letting it pull on, okay, let's try that one. Yeah, you can see it. It really kind of wants to twist up there, right? So that's too much. All right, I've let too much kind of twist come into this and now it's off balance the other way. So you always kind of want to check and you get a feel for it. Okay, so now we're just going to keep going. And you just kind of let it pull on out of your fingers and it just kind of slides through. The nice thing about doing the plying is it's so much faster than the actual spinning process. So it goes pretty quick. That is just how it goes like that. Okay, so now we have a full bobbin of yarn. And what we're going to do is we're going to now um, use our nitty naughty to make this, I love that word, make this into a skein. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the brake band from this bobbin so that that way it can um, spin without the wheel spinning. And then I'm going to turn my wheel. I'm going to take my piece of yarn and I kind of 
hold on to it on the nitty knotty. And then I start wrapping the yarn around the nitty knotty. Just like that. And basically, you just carry on doing that until you've wrapped all the yarn. Okay, so here is our yarn, which is wrapped on the nitty knotty. And then you take it off the nitty knotty like so. And there is our yarn. And now what we can do is we can just turn it into like a very pretty skein. You just twist it like so until it kind of twists up on itself like a lot. And then you just tuck one in, one end under the other. And you have your very pretty skein, right? And that's how we ply yarn. Now, the last thing that we need to do um, before we can actually use this to knit is we need to set the twist. So in order to do that, we're actually going to um, wash it. So we've got lukewarm water, just enough water to kind of cover them. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to gently press them under the water just to get them kind of soaking. You don't want to agitate the yarn too much because then it may felt. And then we're going to leave that for about 15 minutes. Okay. Um, so now it has been 15 minutes and we are going to drain the water. Okay. So we want to squeeze some of the water or the bulk of the water out of the wool. But we want to do that in a way where we're not going to agitate it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of fold it. And again, I'm just going to squeeze. I'm not wringing it. And now I'm just going to hang them on the back of this chair to dry. And in probably about a day or two when this is completely dry, then they will be ready to knit with. Okay, so it is just over 24 hours later and our skeins are nice and dry. And the one thing I will say is when they dry, they do fluff up. So if you are kind of starting to spin and you're looking to make a certain size yarn, like I'm trying to make like a sport weight, um, they do fluff up. And so whatever it kind of looks like when you're first kind of um, spinning them, they will be a little bit bigger. And so now that we're done, again, we're just going to kind of twist this. Okay. We'll do the same thing with the other one. Okay. So here are our two completed skeins of wool. Um, so now these are ready for me to, when I'm ready to knit, I can, I'll, I'll kind of roll them into a ball and then I just start knitting with them. So if you guys have never thought about spinning your own yarn, it's, it's something I love doing. It's very relaxing and I can make the exact yarn that I want for whatever project. So I'm only limited by my imagination. Um, in other videos, we'll kind of start talking about how you can make yarns of different colors and how you can blend them. Uh, we can talk about something called drum carding, which is how you can make some multicolored bats. Um, so if you guys like this video or you want to see more topics covered about spinning yarn, um, please let me know and press the subscribe button and leave me a comment and, and that would be great. All right, everybody, have a great day. Goodbye.